Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention. You have elected a moderator. Fahed Abu Akel has 296 votes, and I declare him duly elected to the office of moderator of the 214th General Assembly. I now call on Fahed Abu Akel. Mr. Moderator, dear commissioners, sisters and brothers in Christ, it is a crazy experience to stand before you and share my vision for the Presbyterian Church USA. But let me share with you an even more scary experience of my childhood. I was born in a small Palestinian Arab village called Kufr Yasif, 25 miles northwest of the city of Nazareth in Galilee, Israel. As a four-year-old Palestinian child in 1948 during the first Israeli-Palestinian conflict, I never forget the scene of leaving our home. As we left our home, I looked and looked for my mother and I couldn't find her. And suddenly I looked and she was standing on the flat roof of our home, waving her hand as we went up to the mountain. When we returned home to our village, we found our mother alive and ready to welcome us back. When I was older, I asked my mother why she did not come with us. I discovered that she was strong in her faith in Jesus Christ. And she said to my father, you take the children, you can protect them. This is our home. This is our land. This is our church. If they want to kill me, they need to kill me in my own home. And she refused to go with us. As a child, I was influenced first by my two parents, faith in God and Jesus Christ. Their love for the scripture was the nurture in my life. The second influence was basically two Scottish Presbyterian missionaries who came and lived in the second floor in our home. Through their life at witness about Jesus Christ, I made a commitment to him and I want to challenge our church to focus on the following three things this coming year. I want to challenge each pastor, session and congregation to dedicate this coming year to praying daily for our church's spiritual renewal. Second, renewed commitment for mission. I want to challenge each congregation to adopt two mission projects, one local and one global. The third one is the focus on unity in the midst of our diversity for the sake of the gospel and our witness to the world God is calling us to be a united church with a passion for mission as we engage in mission together we will experience growth and unity in the body of Christ let us face it it is scary for us as Presbyterians to talk about and experience spiritual renewal to talk about our unity, to experience mission at our doorsteps and around the world, but it is okay to be scared. Let me take you back to that four-year-old scared Palestinian child. He discovered and still discovering that Jesus Christ is the only hope for a broken world. 